Hello everyone, Spectre here and welcome to Star Citizen. And today is the seventh day of the um, 20, 2952 IAE. So today is for Crusader and also with the Timbro ground vehicle manufacturer. So well, the same as usual is kind of a little bit like, um, I mean, um, not if not because of these three ships are large, um, this room would be quite empty though. But well, never mind about it, right? <laughs> so let's get to it first. Of course, from right to left as usual, and go to somewhere room in here or there. I forgot. Uh, I don't think it's here, but there. And uh, we will go downstairs to take a look at the uh, display room and also the ships down there, if there's any. So let's get to it first. Over here, you can see there's a C2 Hercules Starlifter. It's a it's a ship. It's a transport, and um, this ship got the largest cargo capacity right now among all the flyable ships. Got 696 SCU. People usually will use it for like trading because it's the most beneficial ship for trading right now, as you can hold a lot of cargo inside of uh, like a. Uh, middle section of the ship. Of course, if in the future cargo refactor is a kind of thing, which means that you may need to spend a lot of time to load up your ship, so technically it would be quite painful compared to nowadays. And uh, yeah, so as a transport mainly you should use it for transporting like a vehicle. It's a most, I mean, it's an advantage comparing to the other transport or um, like a cargo ships like um, the Caterpillar. And inside of it will be very, very large as well, as you can see in here. So you can hold a lot of ground vehicle inside, or even some snob fighters, or like uh, smaller ships like uh, Aurora as well. Okay, it's a lagging thing in here. Usually, people can choose to enter the ship throughout this ramp, but I won't suggest you to do that because sometimes, um, if you're not landing on a very smooth surface, it means that you may have a chance to like glitch your ramp into the ground, and it might cause some trouble. And the worst scenario would be uh, destroying your ship with while your cargo would be inside of it along with your ship and being destroyed it which is not a very ideal thing to do right so i would suggest you to use this elevator to enter the ship but you need to be patient sometimes uh, it lowered and disappeared for a while and come back um, in front of you so um, yeah so in the middle you can see there's an a2 star lifter a2 Hercules Starlifter is a bomber, unlike um, the C2, which is a civilian transport. This bomber, although you got cargo capacity in here, 216 I believe, and lagging happened again. But the most important thing for this ship would be those four cluster bombs on board of the ship at the back of it here. So currently, there's no ground assault missions, as well as like um, any kind of things that requires you to use these kind of cluster bombs. So, except for people using it for in Jump Town, which is usually being targeted by most of the people when um, the A2 appeared on the map. So technically, there's not very useful uh, just being like um, acting like a bomber. Thing with bombing nothing technically um, so yeah and also if you got more people on board you can ask them to control these lower turrets in here these remote turrets would be um, the main kind of attacking um, like um, yeah this is for you to do some ground attack like ground assault thing so you can treat it as a gunship as well if you don't use your bombs. 
So you have five guns in total. I mean five remote turrets in total at the bottom of the ship. As well as there's a turret up there. If you got enough people, this ship would be quite deadly compared to the other star lifters. But of course, well, you may not be like uh, that fortunate enough to get many people on board. So, well, yeah, for now, it's not very useful. And this thing is expensive as well. If you talk about like uh, using real cash to buy it, around 700 something, I believe, which is quite expensive. But in the game, it costs you about 5.5 million, which is far cheaper compared to the real cash price. So I purchased it already, so in the future I will talk more about it. Over here you can see there's a Nova Tank or um, Timbro Tonk, maybe. Um, so this is the only tank in the Star Citizen right now. And as I said, there's no ground assault missions that requires you to use your tank. Uh, except if players want to like destroying like the turrets around the bunkers, they may use a tank to blast them. But it's not very necessary at all. So, well, they just use it for fun, I believe. And the armor right now, this tank would be quite fragile. So um, you may not consider to use this tank to protect yourself from like a railgun fires. So this thing, it looks like a Makava from Israel, but there's a reason behind and I kind of understand why they need to design like this, not because they like the Makava, but I will talk more about it later after the IAE. So this is a ramp and it's the only way for you to get inside of the ship or this tank. So over here you got the gunner seat and also the pilot or like driver seat and also like a co-pilot seat in here. Sorry about the lagging. So over here on the right hand side there's a M2 Hercules star lifter. So before the A2 um, like release, M2 and the C2 would be the only would be the only Hercules hanging around in the verse, and the only way to like uh, define which one is a M2 and which one is a C2 would be, um, I mean, the most efficient way to define them, not about the color itself, but um, the nose turret. Because the M2 got a nose turret, while the C2 doesn't. So you can define them by using turrets at the, at the bottom of the nose. So the M2 can do what the C2 can do by putting vehicles inside. And of course, um, both of them got more rooms for you to put vehicles inside comparing to if you talk about uh, comparing with the A2 over there. But the cargo capacity of the M2 would be only 522 SCU compared to the C2 696. The main reason is because this thing is a military cargo ship or military transport comparing to the civilian transport of the C2. So even though they kind of looks like the same in here, but actually, um, the main reason would be this ship got more armor to protect it. And nowadays, armor is not an issue or not a kind of thing that uh, CIG will like uh, counting on. So technically, um, there's no differences between the protection of the M2 and C2. But if armor become a thing in the future, the M2 would be much more heavier, um, less maneuverable compared to the C2 probably. But obviously I will talk more about it in the future because I also got the M2 as well with around 5.2 million in-game credits. Alright, so 
let's go to the room in here. Alright, so everyone. So in here you can see there's two uh, Aries and also with the Mercury Star Runner. So the Aries would be uh, the newest, one of the newest ship uh, among all the Crusader ships as well as the A2 back there. So this one is an Ion. You can see it, it's white in color with this kind of very unique size 7 um, laser cannon. I will talk about this ship later after the IAE because I also got the ship and just simply keep them away from like uh, talk about the ships uh, because well I can't lazy at the time. Um, yeah so basically um, this one you got a big laser re um, laser cannons and they nerfed it quite significantly so well if you really want to have this ship you need to consider this outcome right now and they are not going to change it um, like uh, in a short period of time I believe and over here it will be the Infernal Invernal is black in color of course but um, yeah color itself is doesn't matter but a more important thing is you have a Gatling gun in here, size 7 Gatling guns. Uh, I introduced this ship before already. Um, those weapons, both of them, even they share the same size of weapons but they cannot swap out. Um, the main reason is because CIG want to make more credits, I mean, more money. So they just simply like ask, I mean, they just simply stick with this, like this, yeah. So that you, if you want to experience two kinds of different like shooting styles, then you need to buy two instead of buying one. And in here you can see there's a Star Runner, Mercury Star Runner. It's a, like a data runner as well. It's a large data runner. I talked about this ship before and I really think that this ship needs to be reworked a little bit. At least you should have more entrance. Because the only entrance is right now will be at the back of the ship. Which is not very ideal. And I personally think that this elevator is totally not necessary at all. Or maybe you just simply like can you just like add a feature by just dropping the elevator down for a little bit so that you can enter the ship through up this elevator instead of like using this ramp. And uh, of course there's some tricks in here. You have a panel in here and you can open and you can have this kind of very tricky part of like um, of a ship. And you can just simply go through out the ship and like hiding something in here like drugs and other people inside. Yeah, I think you have enough room to hold like um, dozens of people in here. So if you don't mind about it, then those dozens of people can act like a, I'm, I don't know, like a short troops for ground assault, maybe. So as I talk about this ship before and uh, there's nothing changed so far. So I'm not going to go through the whole ship and it will save up some time. But to be honest, among all the large ships, um the Mercury the Mercury Star Runner is the kind of ship that is easily be able to control as well. And uh, it's more enough for like um, for people to like housing a ground vehicle inside like a rock and then do some ground mining with it. Um, sorry about the lagging again. Alright so everyone in here you can see a lot of timbrel um, cyclones in here. You got different kind of cyclones. So over here I believe that is a yeah it's a RN um let's see the RN should be like um I forgot is it like um a kind of recon 
Yeah, you should have a disc at the top of it. Uh, for scanning and stuff. And no worries, I also bought them in the game. So all of them would be around uh, 28,000 each. So it's quite easy to buy them. So, well, in the future, I'll talk more about it after the IAE. And in here is a kind of um, RC, it's a razor, uh, racing type of cyclone, and probably will be the fastest among all the cyclones, of course. And also, this one is a cyclone itself, and nothing special. And I believe that there's a cargo bay in, at the back in here. Yeah, you can house like, um, I don't know, like, is it some sort of um, yeah, so you can hold a box in here, I believe. Oh, it's back up here. So, yeah, I think that is quite interesting to have these kind of vehicles around. But of course, as same as usual, I will talk more about it in the future instead of right now because we don't have enough time for that. Now let's go to another room in here. Yep, the other cyclones. So, let me see. This one is a TR, is it? Yeah, TR. You've got a turret at the back. Yeah, so this thing looks like a kind of um, Humvee thing. Obviously, Humvee would be more well protected comparing to this and this one is a uh, AA is it or AA is that one I don't know this one is AA I think yeah AA is this one <laughs> so uh, it's an anti-aircraft um, um, version and also this one is like MT is a military type uh, I don't know like you'll have more missiles and also like a stronger armament probably and you have a cannon in here as well a long sword i believe yeah it's a long sword so a long sword is a like a ballistic cannon and i purchased actually every single type of it in a game except for the rc though um so well in the future after the iae i will talk more about it Alright, so over here in the display room, you can see there's a ship. It's a, a Crusader airliner. What's that called? Oh, I see. It's a Genesis. Hmm. So you can hold a lot of uh, like people inside. Uh, just simply looks like a... It's a plane, <laughs> I would say. But it would be transport people from planets to planets, system to systems. I don't know how does it work and they can't even put uh, like NPCs inside of the ship right now so I don't think um, you can see this ship um, any sooner. Well, or maybe I should say that you won't see this ship be useful any sooner. <laughs> so yeah. And over here in the middle, I believe that is uh, like a, a month or two before the IAE, they tried to sell this ship, which is, um, I forgot what is that, like C1? This one is a C1, I believe, which is a medium, um, like a medium um, cargo ship. Yeah, C1 Spirit, yeah. So you have also like A1 and E1. So A1 is a bomber type. I would consider that thing is looks like a what was it? Like um like a like a medium bomber. Like a A2, but it's a lighter version of A2. And E1 would be um the mini version of that Genesis. And this C1 would be well something compatible comparing to like um 
like a colorless black, probably. So you have 48 SC of cargo uh, with a tractor beam at the back. Uh, it will be quite useful. You can hold some ground vehicles inside as well. Um, but currently, well, it's a concept ship after all, so no one knows. So the last one, this thing is like a bike. Um, what is that? Ah, oh, the tum uh, tum Tumbro Ra Ra Ranger. Okay, so this thing is a bike and you can hold some cargo on board as well, or racing. I don't know, but uh, for me, um, it looks like a, some sort of like delivery and food panda thing. <laughs> so you can transport things with it, I believe, in the future among the cities. Just like imagine if you can transport things um, along the road in maybe area 18, that would be amazing, right? So, that is it for today's video about um, the 7th day of the 2952 IAE. I hope you enjoy and I shall see you guys next time then. Bye bye!